accountants, and I know the word is terrible to say a creative accountant. Um, yes. <laughs> but accountants do have the need to be creative. And the reason for that is really simple. They're coming for your jobs. The robots are coming, you know? This is one of the <laughs> It's one of the few places that the robots are coming. There's a they're lot of coming. places, that, you know, and I hate to break it to you, but some of the places they're not coming is like babysitters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, house cleaners. You know, the, 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 the jobs are, those jobs are going to be around, but yeah. accountants are under serious threat. They're one of the top mm. uh, jobs that's under threat from automation. Yep. And, and that is, you know, a fact. I mean, it's, it's, it's already in process, but it's going to get much worse over the next five to 10 years. You know, if you're not doing something creative with your knowledge of, you know, money, numbers, accounting, if you're not doing something creative yeah. with that, I agree. you're probably not needed in 10 years. Yeah, I agree. So this is I, about accountants. Yeah, I think uh, I so agree with you. I think what, um, unless you've had a little bit more uh, experience with, with automation, the reality is, if there's a rule for what you do, um, if there's a format or a formulae for what you do, if there are trends that can be learned, then that will be take that will be automated. You know, however complicated those rules are, the computer is going to be able to do that a lot easier than you are. You know, because you, pl you know, plug plug the plug that in, program that in. The computer does learn. You know, that is the whole challenge, or well, that is the whole thing and the exciting thing about AI. It learns the trends. It learns, you know, so I, I totally agree with you. Like if, if, if accountants and finance professionals do not shift the way that they think or do not understand and realize the prioritization and the importance of um, something other than pure rule-based thinking, then as you say, like your job is, they're coming for your job. <laughs> they're coming for your job. So part of, part of this and part of the skill that that you're building is is the ability to adapt um is and i think you know that is something that is increasingly faster and you know <laughs> as you say the world is changing faster than ever and you know what people it's in a way it's a little tough to realize is you don't you have we have no idea what the world is going to look like in five years time we have no idea what the world is going to look like in 10 years time and so to in order to prepare for a world we have no idea about, we have to develop the skill of adjusting, adapting, continually looking at what's out there, what's changing, how it affects me, what opportunities it could create, what it's going to damage, what's, what's good, what's bad. And yeah, like the world that exists now did not exist 10 years ago. And unless you're adapting, unless you're looking at that, and unless you build a skill of being okay with that, and that's something that you know we, we kind of discussed, and I'd like to get into that a little more. Is the value, the need, and the inherent nature of uncertainty? The the fact is that that in order to be uh, creative, mm. you you have to be uncertain. And if I do a if I do a talk or a training, and if I ask everybody to raise their hand if they'd like to be more creative, if universally without doubt. Oh yeah. Absolutely. People will raise their hand. I'm in. But if I say, would you like to be more uncertain? No. Only a very small number of them keep their hand up. Right? <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because they are almost synonyms. Right. Right. right? In, order to be, in order to be creative, you have to be curious. You have to be. You have mm. to want to have an answer to something. Mm. If you don't want to have an answer, then you're not being, you can't be creative, right? Yeah. But there's no need for it. Yeah. So you have to be curious. Now, mm. very few people would say, oh no, I don't want, I don't want to be more curious. It sounds nice, right? It, sounds, it does. Yeah, that sounds good. sweet. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Yeah. You know, even but, accountants might want to be more curious. Yeah. But the thing is, curiosity and uncertainty are also synonyms. Yeah, completely intertwined. Right? Because you have to be uncertain about your opinion uncertain about your experience yeah. you have to be willing to question what you think you already know right that's what curiosity is curiosity yeah. is not just you know wanting to hear gossip about somebody curiosity <laughs> is wanting to know something that you didn't know before uncertainty is a state of mind 
Mm. Just like curiosity is a state of mind. Yeah. And this is where we make the mistake. So let me ask you this. Have you ever made an agreement to do something and it didn't happen the way you agreed? Thank you. Yeah, very, of, very little of our life turns out exactly the way we planned. planned. Right. So the fact that you had plans and agreements didn't make it certain. No. No. Have you ever come, have you ever come across anyone in the world who got a divorce? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the yeah. fact that they said they would be together till death they parted didn't make it didn't, certain. Right, yeah, fair enough. Have you ever gotten a job and then they didn't pay you? Uh, no. <laughs> so you, but you've seen it happen, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Stuff goes wrong. So a contract does not make the agreement certain. Yeah, right. So right, okay. Certainty does not exist either. There's no certainty either. It's very true. There's no certainty and there's no uncertainty. It's all just an opinion. Right. right. So the important thing to get about certainty and uncertainty is that it's entirely in your head. It's entirely based. The only thing that's uncertain is you. Mm. It, it, the world is not more uncertain right now than it was before COVID. Mm. It's just people feel more uncertain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, so, and that's good because we've already established that uncertainty is necessary for creativity. Why? Because if you're certain, you won't try to change anything. Right. If your business works the way it is, you're less you're likely to look for innovations. You're yeah, less don't, likely to don't fix what's not broken. Right. And I mean, some yeah. businesses live on innovation. That's their principle. They do it all the time. Yeah. But most businesses will not innovate if they don't need to. Yeah, keep the status quo. If it's working, it's working. Keep. Right. Uncertainty is a very useful thing. Right. Yeah. But uncertainty usually comes with a lot of bad stuff like anxiety. Mm. That's because of the interpretation of uncertainty. So it's a double whammy because not only is the uncertainty imaginary, the interpretation of the uncertainty is also right. imaginary. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can be you can be uncertain and love it. You can enjoy it. A lot of yeah. people Dude, artists yeah. are a good example. Most artists thrive on uncertainty. Yeah. I want people out there to sit and think about more consciously the fact that one doesn't come without the other. And you, you're 100% right. One of the challenges that, that I have with, with the students that I work with is the, it's not the uncertainty, it's the exactly as you say, it's the anxiety that comes with uncertainty. And it's what they feel it means to them. And it's what they feel the consequences are. You know, if I'm uncertain, then it's going to go badly, or I won't get it right, or I don't have the answer, or someone's got to know what's going on, or like, what does this mean to me? What does this mean to my life? What does it mean to my future? You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because I think, I think this is very important for, for people who are accountants, especially to get is that, yeah, accounting is about certainty, right? Accounting is about like, getting the answer right because basic math has a right answer mm. um you know 20 times 30 is always 600 there's there's no way around that reality is not exactly math right no and so it's 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 obviously important for accountants to to get the figures right uh if you're if you're doing yeah taxes or something like that you can't like just we're not messing with the figures we're not getting unsure. creative with math <laughs> right. we're not that is not what we're talking about yeah exactly so, so <laughs> what's really important is for accountants yeah. to realize that we're not talking about that you can't be certain about about math but you certainly can't be certain about life right. and right and applying that point. math you know yeah. applying that math to a business applying that math to an the insurance calculation thing. or yeah those are suddenly not so clear right i think it's that's very not good so situation. clear what the yeah. what the best way forward in terms of a financial plan is it's not the same thing as a financial history right so that's a really good way of putting that i really like you that. know so so it's really important that that we understand that <clears throat> yes there are places you can be certain and pretty yeah. much it's, it's math and physics, right? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much where it is mm. because we know that one plus one is always two except when it isn't. Mm. Um, but we're talking about this so important for your audience of accountants and people working in financial sector to, to understand. We're talking about the important stuff. We're talking about the stuff that is gonna, that robots can't do that stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, because this is the one thing I want to say, uh, just dying to say all the time these days is, 
we thought 2020 was about flying cars, but it was about COVID. <laughs> we, did not, we did not get flying cars. And no I, for one, remain disappointed that we don't have them. But the bottom line of it is we don't. No. <laughs> and, but that's the yeah that's the thing right we didn't yeah. we didn't know what we were going to get we got no. something else yeah and, and that's and that's life you know yeah but there's no certainty and there's no uncertainty either it just is it's yeah. just there 